Hello everybody, I like it Gaming here with some more Rome 2 Total War or Total War Rome 2, however you wanna call it. Alright, so, whoops. Oh, but, ah, shut up, woman. Alright, so just to recap about what happened last episode. Um obviously last episode was the first episode of the Your orders. of the series. So, uh, you know, since we were playing Rome, we were battling the Etruscans, as you always do, right at the start of a Roman campaign in this game. Kind of imitating the birth of the Republic and throwing off the chains of Etruscan rule. So, uh, we saw their defeat. It is like an hour and 15 minute long video, so I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, let's see. Let's, uh, let's, let's just get rid of these mercenaries. They're very expensive. I needed them temporarily. No, oh, I want to get rid of them all. I mean, I am going to make this, you know, a real army, so to speak, but, uh, you know. I just need to cut my losses there. Mercenaries are very expensive. Okay, so we're going to kind of get you. Oh, gosh. So annoying. Sorry about that. I didn't even realize she was up. Yeah, this is so annoying. This is going to turn into a bit of a into a bit of a war here because they have that walled settlement which is something the Etruscans didn't have considering I control Roma and they did not control Carolus, only Alilia. So we're just gonna kind of get to scouting with Postumia Scapula. I think it's always the name you of your starting scout. Shut up. Let me see, hold on. Whoops, not save. Um, Options, game settings, campaign advice, none. How did that get turned on? What's the aid day camp? Yeah, I think I'll keep it. Okay, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so a bit of uh, channel news, by the way. So, because of the way YouTube and Facebook algorithms are working these days, especially where uh, vulgar language is concerned. Uh, they were burying, YouTube was burying my uh, Far Cry New Dawn videos, and Facebook was not letting me advertise my Far Cry New Dawn videos because of the foul language used within the videos, used within the game. And so that obviously has a uh, negative impact on success. I, I advertised on Facebook my last Total War Rome 2 video, and I wound up getting hundreds of views because of it. Um, Donna Man is seeing a little bit more organic success. I accidentally did that video, video as a premiere, so I couldn't advertise it. Um, I figured I need Don Total War Rome 2 being an old game might need a little more help. Especially because I don't think they've had an actual DLC in a while, so there isn't any kind of freshness to the game. There's nothing new to show off. Uh, nobody big is really doing it with any regularity, except for maybe Pixelated Apollo. I do watch go like and subscribe his channel um so i just cut out Dawn, i just not Dawn, i cut out far cry new dawn just playing that on my own now so for now on saturdays and sundays uh it's going to be a world of warships live stream mondays is going to be donna man uh tuesdays and wednesdays is going to be total war rome 2 and then Thursday and Friday is Donna Man. That's for now. Uh, right now I am playing Hearts of Iron 4. I did get the new DLC, Man the Guns. So once I have a further grasp on those mechanics, I will probably replace my Monday Donna Man session with, uh, with Hearts of Iron 4. But for now, until I really get into you know, really knowing the Hearts of Iron 4, uh, Monday is going to be Donna Man. And I imagine that only last a week or two three tops so yeah without further ado let's get into the game here so i might actually go for the vanity first to kind of get myself a foothold there mm, yeah so i might raise an army here and leave a token force in case the carthaginians want to come get some Okay, but apparently I need to just end the turn. So I don't have any money and none of my armies have any boot points. There we go. End turn. Well, at least there's one faction out here no more. Maybe this one. That go faster. Oh, Trade agreement. Ah, yes. Yes, please. More monies. 
Sorry, it is like 35 degrees here. And I was just finishing up my cup of coffee. Because coffee sounded really good. As cold as it is here. The need for cab, despite your undoubted military might, so draw attention to the fact that your cavalry lacks strength in numbers. Rally the horsemen. Cavalry training. Plus two experience ranks. You know what? I'm going to take that because I'm about to train some cav. Right? Over here. And that's what I'm going to do first now. Is I'm going to train cavalry. I'm going to place you in Roma. Excellent. At your command. One, two, three. How many did I have? I do like to make my army somewhat uniform. Oh man, what kind of what kind of uh I'm gonna go and get rid of the levees. We're gonna kinda start moving you out of there. Okay, yeah, that'll take two turns, that's fine. Alright, uh how many has that a eh? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have one. Five. Okay, how many? Uh, two, three, four. Principe. You know what? I think what I'll do because I'm not gonna have that extra cav unit from the general. We put a fourth Equites in there. And yeah, that'll be that'll be fine. Okay, in the turn. Oh, and I'm getting a tech soon. Next turn too. We'll see which tech it is specifically. Alright, we need to go and check out Midlan next. Yeah, I think I will take Batavion first. First off, it has the trade resource. I think it's glass. It'll be a much easier nut to crack, and it'll give me a more direct route into Midlan. Iron tools. Okay, I don't really care. I don't really plan on taking any aggressive actions with this spot. Ooh, wow. Okay, so they do have a bit of defense. So do they, actually. Now that you mention it. Now that we mention it. Okay. So this is going to be... Uh, two, three, four, Principe. One of you. Then one, two, three of you. And that maxes that army out. Perfect. See, and they started out with their two experience ranks, which is awesome. Yes. And they've seen combat. They don't have any experience ranks, so that's glorious. Manipulative barracks down at Brindisium. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, so I live in an area of Texas where there's a lot of pollen in the air right now. My car, I would drive a black car, and it was very yellow. When I got in the car today to go eat some dinner. Oh yeah, we're dealing with that down here. Okay, what do I want? Okay, I mean we need to get down to cohort organization ASAP. Right here though, that's a good next step. I mean that's gonna Yeah, it's upkeep. That's affecting mercenary cost, which is unavoidable. But then we got this one, which is minus 3% upkeep. So overall, after, what, eight, 18 turns, I'll be cutting my upkeep by eight by 5%. And then we'll see where we're at in terms of what missions we need to complete and everything at that point. So we got two more turns left here. Okay. All right, we're going to have you go up here. Stopping for now. Okay, now that we're done building an R oh you know what? I need to go over there probably just a small force of Histadi backed up by um uh some Vilites probably and careless just to ensure that Carthaginians can't uh take advantage of me can I record recruit the champion I sure can we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of that good stuff good stuff Okay, let's come up here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a fishing port. Then... There's army. Good stuff. No, oh, right there. Thank you. Okay, I can't do a study. I can, I can only do some pretty... Uh, some quite BS forces here. There's some Rorari. There's some Leves. Yeah, some Bull. Whatever. 
No, oh, excuse me. Okay. So we're gonna, uh, in turn, finish off that army. Then we're gonna move towards Patavia. Okay, what, a, what time is it? It's been 10 minutes. Recording or so. I'm gonna try not to go over 45. Subject gains notoriety. Okay. Some cool has been taught, caught defacing the Temple of Jupiter. Such matters should not be taken lightly. Let Jupiter decide his fate. Sounds good to me. Alright, we're going to give this army a chance to bloody itself in battle. We're going to come right here, and then we're going to set up shop. Fortify, baby. Is after we take them, we're gonna march into Genua and take that city. This we're probably actually gonna want to fighting it. Wow, yeah, it's gonna be a tough battle. Let's go see if I can't get a better view on what it is they have. No, what it is they have. I might need to deploy both armies. Hmm. There is more I could do. Okay, you know what? These troops are garbage. They really are. And they've got, okay, they got two, three, five, seven, nine. Alright. So, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can't bait them to come to me. I'm going to set up shop right here and then declare war. See if I can't bait them to send an army at. Okay, so one army disappeared. One more turn. I want to do it all at once. Sabotage mission success. Good stuff. Oh, and she leveled up. Good stuff, good stuff. This is always tough. <laughs> Let's go with specialist. Kind of make her more of an assassin, I guess. Uh, how to build a spy is always a challenging prospect. Hopefully that army doesn't come back before I take the city. We're probably still going to fight it. And their troops are kind of garbage. No. I have the wise. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to tell them to go F themselves. We're going to break that pact. That we trade agreement. Declare war. Uh, just, we're still trustworthy, so it's all good, baby. Oh man, it's still close. Hey, buddy. So that's my dog shaking in the background. He's got his. Uh, it's probably his uh, rabies tag clanking up against his, uh, his harness, I guess. Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna fight this. We got number by about 400 or so. It's still close. They do have an advantage in skirmishers as. Uh, these guys tend to have over the, over the Romans, at least when I play the Romans, I don't usually do a big skirmish heavy army. So, yeah. I'd rather be first in Little Village in Gaul than second in Rome. Julius Caesar, Roman General and Statement, 144 BC. Uh, I think about that, though. that's like 56 years. It's a long time for them. Standard of healthcare and hygiene was basically garbage. Yeah, anything went wrong, you pretty much prayed to the gods. Okay. Oh, come on. Go away, Steam Overlay. Hit shift, not shift tab. Okay. So. Hmm.
just like so. And oh, they're hidden too. Make that go away. General! If we are marked for death today, let us meet our fates with good humor. Forward march! Or round, I guess, in the woods too. And this army looks glorious, doesn't it? Let's make you go away. Sorry about that. Kind of in the way, isn't it? I'm an hour long time. Ago. How did all these settings get changed? I didn't change Jack. I really didn't. But I come on, there's a freaking battle time limit in the, adva in the advice levels, all the way up for campaign and battle. I'm surprised the floor the camp or whatever it was. Aid de camp wasn't uh, turned on as well. All right, so we're gonna deploy like this. Send you there, then we're gonna send you boys here. Then we're gonna send some principes around like that. What? Hold on. Okay. I don't know why they did that. Uh, swords tend to beat spears for whatever reason. They think spears by way because you can keep the enemy at a distance with it. No, that's not how it works. Total war. Ah, no jab, no, no pile. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, things are getting real. Things are getting spicy. Going for the attack there. You can't actually use those alleys, unfortunately. Alright, so we're going to deploy the Velites next. The name of Rome. Then we're gonna deploy you boys further up, so you can reinforce as needed. Levy Freeman. Oh yeah, no chance against the Prince Pay. Prince Pay of Rome. Some of my more elite soldiers. Okay, that was a little anticlimactic. I think we did a lot more damage. To it. Well, kind of. They took out. A Extra soldier, did. They start out with the exact same amount. Okay, they're just gonna be a sliced and diced. Stuff and get in their flank now. Is that an avenue of attack? No, otherwise, they, I'm sure if it was, they'd be taking it anyways. Okay, bring the equites around like that. Kind of intense, actually, not super micro heavy, but what's well, about to do with the calf charge coming? It's gonna get these boys pulled through here. Some people might call this a cheese, but in war, you use every advantage you have to defeat the enemy.
go, 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 go. Bring it down like that. Bring the hammer down, baby. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Go, 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 go. Move in, move in, move in. One of our units has used all its ammunition. It, it took some casualties. We're gonna go and take that out now. Wow, that guy just freaking tackled that dude. That was impressive. I wish I'd taken a screenshot of that. That would have been a great thumbnail. Wow, look at that screenshot, eh? That's that's the thumbnail right there. By the way, for those of you that don't know how to do that, hey. Stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Come on. Take these boys out. Even if they don't get taken out, we're at least tying them up. We need to shatter them so that they don't come back. Good stuff. Alright, let's go up here and move to take on the general. Let's go ahead and move and finish that flank off there uh oh time to go uh, it looks like we've done a number on their missile capabilities of broken one and brought the other two down to half strength or so now we're gonna well I'll finish this off here Here. Good stuff, that's the study, I'm sure. A good hit. Not gonna, get them. Not gonna get them, that's fine. So take them out there. Never underestimate the importance of cat even in a town battle. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, they take some casualties. They're down to well under half strength. We're gonna deploy everybody in that direction. And then we're gonna take them out. We're gonna deploy you boys up that way. Just throw everybody into the mix here. Wavering, eh? What? Who's wavering? Stoddy up here. Lots of casualties, though. Lots and lots of casualties. Let's find this entire army is going to die as soon as he breaks because this was their last, uh, this they were in a settlement. They lost the battle. So. Yeah, it was tough. There was a chance we could have lost, lost it or if not lose it, we would have been down a few units for sure. Doing some mop up work here. Boys 
Oh, they're definitely holding strong. Them up, just you know, why not? They're not doing anything, anyways. Like that. Attack. Finish it. Finish him. Good stuff. Good stuff. Our general is under attack. That is the point of sending him into battle. Yes, he does want to be under attack. Thank you. Heroic victory! Yeah, see that you know the study really got. Wow, they did some work though. Wow, they deployed 2,500 soldiers. We only deployed 2,000. Wow, yeah. They lost 2,200 men. Only 100 and about 51 got away. Hey, buddy, what's up? What you need? Let's see right here. My puppy has an eye problem, a little inflammation. I'm having to keep it clean while he heals with my eye drops. To death, to slaughter, and rapine, they deceitfully name Empire. They deceitfully name Empire. And even where they make a desert, they call it peace. Tessers. Roman historian? 86 to 117. Good long time too. 56 to 106 would be uh, 50 years. That means uh, another what, 11 years after that. He lived to be 61, which again, long time by uh, ancient Rome standards. Paperwood Iron Age? Not oh, part of mistake. Yeah, don't listen to me on that. I sound stupid. Oh, let's bring out the old cell phone. What? Eleven minutes and six seconds. Yeah, well, no quick answers there. But yeah, rest assured, it's a long time. And it's not like they had penicillin. Good stuff here. Uh, we're just gonna do like this. Formidable fighters. And we're gonna get a charge bonus for all units. Now they're being, uh, well, now they're suffering from church. Okay, so we're gonna definitely do like that. See, this is going to have to be a manufacturing settlement. We're gonna do like so. Okay. I don't really want to start a fight with them yet. Not while that army's still lurking up there. We gotta be ready for them to come at us, bruh. Yeah. Down. Down. Get that off your fur. Oh. Good boy. He's good boy. He's good as boy. I'm sure all your dogs would disagree with you, though. Battle deployment. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, we're looking at huge casualties here, something I want to avoid. Fight the battle. Sorry about this. Oh, we're 20 minutes in now. It's not bad. Oh, wait, we're 30 minutes in. Sorry about 107, 107 p.m. Central Time. It's 137. Hey, buddy. Definitely try to finish this battle off. That'll probably feel comfortable. Uh, Starting about with the uh, what are they, the Ligurians, whatever they're called? Genuines, genuines, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, what do you want? Do you want it in my lap? He's just sitting here staring at me for no reason. If he wanted to go outside, he'd be crying. He does a lot of crying. Yes. Okay. 
So, goal here is to, well, defend. I don't have the troops to defend out here because my soldiers took some casualties, obviously. Like them, they're staying right in the back. Uh, these guys probably going up front. Yeah. Okay, so if I do like, hmm, man, that's two avenues of attack there. And so we're gonna put a U two right. So uh, what's this defensive testudo? Let's see what that looks like down here. No. We're gonna do like that though, because it's a kind of a large area there. General, I guess you guys and you guys are gonna go over here. Come on, no lag, no crashing. Oh god! If this crashes, I'm gonna be so pissed. Yeah, just random lag spike for no reason. Kind of scared out of me. I thought it was going to crash. Sorry about that. Uh, this game's never done that to me before. Done something like that to me before. Yeah, this has got to be kind of a turtle up battle for sure. I am going to send the cab out like this. So I can do some flanky, some cheeky flanking maneuvers. And then obviously we're going to split up the efforts of our Velites appropriately so that everybody gets a little backup and support from the missile troops and then everybody else you're just gonna kind of kind of uh, come and chill in the back and support where needed we have a lot of crap troops up there though a lot of mercenaries and such Make sure they are not ashamed. Look hey, that guy, he looked badass. I'm gonna kick this off with a quick cab engagement. Swift riders at your command. Good stuff. Oh, that's a lot more cab than I expected. What is it though? Light horse? No. These are not the best. Not a medium cab there. What? A light cab? Yeah, they're being butchered pretty good. Okay, we probably need to just go on ahead and disengage though before the enemy main force arrives. It's a good delaying action. Cost some casualties for sure. Get out, damn it, get out! Alright, good stuff. Now we're butchering their their cav debilites. And the Histari Pile. Go, 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 go! Did they break? Oh my gosh, they did. They shattered, actually. That's that's good. Try to lead them on a merry chase. Make them a non-entity here. Okay, now I got one all alone. Surprise! It's me! Yeah, they're gonna get surrounded here, though. They're dead. GG, bro. Stop shaking. Okay, they're really preventing a flanking maneuver. They got them right there. Mm. Tough nut to crack. You get all them back here.
Get as much missile fire coming down as we can here. Yeah, you can see the dead piling up there that will be definitely cause cause some hurt. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna try to split it up so that if they send a unit up there, I can engage from the front with one group and engage from the back with the other group. Our hidden units have been discovered. Or at the very least, make them a constant threat. Must have accidentally double clicked on some retreating soldiers. Yep, there it is, light horse. Never gonna catch them retreating like that. Hmm, there's an opening there. We're gonna take it. I wanna keep them there so that they can't just peel off, because if they do, I'll just slip in and attack them behind that way as well. Well they they deployed their general so early. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Good charge! It's causing a chain route. I'm gonna keep on it here for a second. Go route. Good stuff. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. No, we're not trying to get them caught up like that. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Problem, but look at all the casualties caused. Come back again, cycle charge, cycle charge, cycle charge. I wish I could get at the missile troops, but I just can't. Why did they sit up there? Why are they sitting up there? Let's see, just trying to wow, look at that. They went right through the rocks. Go home to the war. You're drunk. Are right, really gonna slip out yet because the pathfinding of those rocks is broken. That's why I can slip out. Swift riders at your command. Come on. Oh, move up, move up, move up. charge in and then I might ping I might ping pong off of them and come in here honestly and whenever they react just ping pong back into the main force no oh, we're just gonna go right in for it actually I thought we could ping pong and get a real good move in then move right back out oh, yeah we'll probably move right back out that way Nice faint. I, did, I was hoping they wouldn't run, but they did, so I'm not going to chase them right at the arms of the enemy there. Good stuff. Got force reinforcements down that way. General's dead? That's what's up. That should actually finish off their faction because they probably don't have any generals left. I 
Look at that box to the death. Flank the flankers. Uh oh. Not good. Alright, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Alright. Had to get in their backs there. For that unit. See, now that we've beaten off the attack by uh, doing that to them, look at that disgusting mess. Took some losses doing it, but now we can push out clear the city of the better be turning in our favor. Do you know how many people we've hurt? It's just absolutely butchered today. Good stuff. Yeah, alright, that's a win. As soon as these boys break, that is. In battle victory. Heroic victory. Hey, bud. Good puppy. Look at that. I lost 300 men out of my 1,500. I lost just shy of 1,600 out of their... Night, just shy of 1,952. That's 21 kills to friendly fire. What the... Uh, general got no action. That's fine. I really don't want him to die. Excuse me. 100 and 200... 180 from that one cab unit. 209 from that one unit of free all yeah. Wow, 112 from that one unit of Venetes. Yeah, definitely. You sold some stuff earlier there, but money's worth the Venetes. I mean, they're super cheap. So even at 13 men, it's like, yeah, kind of glad I bought them. So that's 13 more soldiers that my men didn't have to face. Sword, sword. You good boy. Come on. Oh, oh, why, why you lick? Good boy. Yeah, that's probably the end of that faction because I killed that general. Should be their last general. Yeah, I don't think factions can exist without generals. Or cities, right? Obviously, if you have cities, you can always generate another general. But I don't think there any cities left, which means they can't generate a general. The reason I don't think they have any cities left is because at the end of my last turn, whenever I took that city, they started suffering destruction. Very nice. Faction destroyed. Plus six. Okay. Faction destroyed. Yes, sir. Uh, all right, we are gonna go one more round here. Bring it around here. That's so. Okay. Let's do like this. Um. Like that. Like that. Yeah, yeah, buddy. What do you want? Alright, okay. Clear war! We take this settlement for Rome! Yeah, let's just see, we're just gonna auto resolve that. Whatever. Don't have it in to take me on now. Okay, uh, this is gonna be our farming settlement. Yeah, good stuff there. Okay, now we're gonna deploy you, Steel Sue, from the local region, Eddie. 
Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go and steal their food. And we'll end it. Oh, ooh, got a side skill. Yeah, baby. Um, plus 2% melee attack skill for all units. Plus 2%. Okay, yeah, I like it. Okay, as soon as this turn ends, it's gonna do it for me, I think. We'll see if they do anything. No, I don't. No, I just. I don't want a client state. I just want to own you. Uh, they're actually suffering attrition. Yeah, they're probably not uh, actually generating enough food. Okay, trouble populace. Sizzle pine gall. I think is what it's called. It was just sizzle pine. I think it was called sizzle pine gall in the last game. I can't remember. All right, we well, yeah, didn't uh, make any crazy moves in terms of battle, so. And I mean, my soldiers kind of need a minute to recover. We did take some losses, so we're just gonna make a quick round. Ooh, okay, so I can do that, and I can do like that, and generate some food that way, and then we can do like that, and let's do a slave trip. Yeah, we'll do a slave trader. How about up here? Anything to build here? Yes, actually, we can build a gladiator school. Is there anything that I can just need more money for? No, we need more tech for it. Same goes for up here. Actually, we're building up there. All right, well, uh, yeah, we're going to end one more turn here. So next turn, I can start afresh with money and movement points. So I have a whole fresh set of decisions to make. Tertani. Okay. I don't know why I said that all Italian. Like, so we're gonna go. Okay, so we are no longer protected from a civil war. That's fine. No, we're just gonna go all the way for cohort organization. Oh wow. Okay. So we'll just go here. Food's always needed. Okay, good stuff. Anything else happen? No. All right. Well, the hell, Betty are gonna make me go to war with them. They really are. Well, that in a future episode, which should be. Let me go to my YouTube channel. Double check my schedule, which you can find on the about page of my channel. Just uh, click on me somewhere at the bottom of the video, wherever it shows it, and you can, you know, go and look. But let me see. What is tomorrow? I have forgotten. I am old man. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so another Total War Rome 2 Roman campaign video. So, yeah, until tomorrow, uh, this is going to be it for Rome 2. This is the Legit Gaming saying thank you, take care, and I'll catch you next time.